There are a lot of benefits to understanding binary in C-sharp, but sometimes binary can be intimidating, especially with things like ands, ors, exclusive ors, and more. This series will make you confident in your C-sharp binary skills. Now, in this video, we're going to go over what the series is all about, why it's a 10-minute training series, and more. So let's jump right in with why learn binary. Well, first of all, computers run binary. Understanding how the computer works will really improve your ability to understand why the computer does what it does, why the compiler acts the way it does, and how we can make changes based upon that. Also, knowing binary can improve system performance in key areas. Working with binary, and we'll see how to do this in the upcoming videos, but working with binary can make you much more efficient when it comes to adding numbers together or, or shifting things around so that you don't have to have temporary variables and many more things that allow you to improve performance when it's valuable to do so. Also, binary is often used to store flags or permissions efficiently. So for example, you might have a 32-bit integer where each bit is actually a Boolean so that you have 32 Booleans that indicate yes or no, true or false for, do they have permission for this or that or a third thing? And we'll see how to use those flags and use them again efficiently so that you're really storing one number in the database, but it represents up to 32 data points or even more. So that's some of the reasons why you should learn how to work with binary in C Sharp. Now let's talk about what we're gonna learn in this course. So this is actually a series, it's not really a course, but this series on YouTube is going to cover things like the basics of binary. How does binary work? Why do we have binary? And how do you even understand binary? Just making sure that we are on the same page when it comes to what even is binary. But then we'll talk about bit shifting and what does that mean and how do you shift bits? And we'll talk about ands, ors, nots, and exclusive ors. So we'll understand what each of those do and how they work. We're gonna see what the operations are so we understand really what's going on when we do any of these things. And then we'll talk about masks and clearing bits. And we'll talk about flags, things like saying, okay, the this, uh, this integer actually represents, again, 32 different things that are true or false. And then we'll talk about how to assign and remove flags to a record so that you can, let's just say, add permissions to a person who needs permissions or remove permissions that they already have or check their permissions and so many other things. There's lots of stuff in here. And really when it comes to binary, there's lots of words that are kind of scary, like exclusive or, or not, or and and or, and how they work. And that's okay. We're gonna make sure we break it down really simple so that it's understandable. So you grasp the concept of what's happening so that when you get into actually using it, you understand what's going on behind the scenes and you can feel confident in what you're doing. Now, let's talk about some frequently asked questions. So first of all, why make this a 10 minute training series? Why not make it a course or why not make it a regular series? Well, the reason why is I wanted to break this down into small chunks. I wanted each chunk to be usable independently. That way when you go, wait a minute, how does an exclusive or work again at binary? No problem, there's a 10 minute training video that will cover just that. And it's part of the series, so if you wanted to kind of get in a broader context or you forget how other things work like ands and ors and, and nots, well, there's other videos associated that will give you those things as well, but this way you can use a series as a whole or use individual videos as you need them to kind of remind yourself of you know, what this thing is and how it works. Now, where can I get the source code? Well, under every video where we actually create source code, there'll be a link to download that source code. They'll be emailed to you. Um, so make sure you check that out under the description of every video if you want the source code. The source code is very, very simple. So you can just retype it and I encourage that. But if you really wanna download it, it will be there. Number three, do we need to watch these in order? Well. Yes and no. 
If you're learning for the first time, I would highly recommend it because every video builds upon the last. So we will take for granted that you know certain things in videos because you just learned it two videos ago. But if you didn't watch it in order, well, then yeah, you're going to miss out. And so every video at the top right corner at the beginning on the card will have a number on it. And that number indicates the, the place in the series. Now, this is also a playlist on YouTube. So you can go to the playlist and watch them in order that way. But I would encourage you the first time to watch them in order. However, when you're referring back, you don't have to. Just grab the one that is most focused on what you need to know right now. Maybe you forget how to do bit shifting. Well, there's a video just on that. And you can go and watch that video and understand, oh, that's how it works. That's how you shift left or that's how you shift right and what that means. So you don't have to watch it in order if you're kind of referring to it as a reference, but I encourage you to watch it through the first time in order. Number four, what skill level do I need to have in order to understand this course? This is a hard one to kind of put your finger on because honestly, if you are a intro level programmer, this course will be valuable. However, if you are an advanced experienced level developer, you probably still are a little rusty on working with binary in C sharp. So it's still gonna be valuable to you as well. So it's not like there's a, oh, this is a beginner or oh, this is an advanced course. This is really for everyone, but you can be a beginner and still understand how this all works. We're gonna use very simple code. We're going to work in the console. So it's just, as clean and simple as possible, okay? So that is the intro for this 10-minute training series on learning binary in C-sharp. 